Good evening everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal. Good evening, Monday evening and if you like my videos please smash that like button. Please do subscribe. So let's get on to this evening shall we and we've had no further phone calls from my mother. None at all. Um, <laughs> post. I forgot to tell you all my post today. Post. There's no postcards from America or, you know, letters from family apart from my mum. So my mum rings the phone and my mum sends me letters. Nobody and nothing else. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 8.20 p.m. So, in the post box, a letter from my mum. On the back, it looks like 333. And my mum has written this at 7.20 in the morning of the 13th of April, which was Saturday. This is from my mum in Chatham. Dear Janestra, just a short note to let you know I am all right. It was good to see you, Janestra, on Thursday, and I hope to see you, Janestra, someday next week. Enclosed is £40. I hope that helps. I also hope that you keep in good health. Bye for now. Love and God bless, Mum. So she's talking to me as if I'm her. My mum has troubles with her mobility. She needs to see a doctor because she's got severe pains in her legs. And she has written the letter as if I'm her with health problems. And Sue goes in to see my mother twice a day so obviously Sue knows my mum's all right and so do her neighbours. I hardly see a soul apart from my mum and if I go into the shop and have a small conversation with Kim. So £40. Queen's head on it. I think we, later on this year we'll start getting the King Charles on our notes. BL33 DK27 I should never forget one thing my mum said, whether it was because it was just out of the blue, randomly saying, I am tired of sticking up for Charles and Camilla. And what's that supposed to mean? On the back, I thought she'd drawn a penis. I'm not being funny. On the back, I thought she'd drawn a knob. What's that? What's the back? What's the doodle on the back there? <laughs> Looks like a penis. So we've got a Queen's Head stamp, second class. Charles, first class. So the Queen and King Charles on the front. My mum did say that. She went, I'm tired of sticking up for Charles and Camilla. Whatever that was supposed to mean. I wish somebody would tell me the truth. My life feels like it's being wasted. It feels like everybody's dressing up in funny clothing and acting stupid, like it's the set of Alice in Wonderland. You know, the Mad Hatter's hat, great big giant hair. So, I goes out of my flat 
after next door does. So they got the dash hound goes for a walk nearly the same time I take Max out for a walk. Right? And the guy that takes the dog out for a walk, the dash hound, has got a bald head. He's got a bald head. Completely bald. So he went out before me and I wait for them to come back with the dash hounds and I go out a bit later, about five past seven. And then when I go around the back of the flats, there's a bald headed man with his, they, it looks like the couple next door but a bit older. She's got funny hair and the guy's got a bald head and he's got a crutch or a walking stick. So I was going to go that way, but I didn't want to get that Max, you know, I don't want him to bark at people. So I walked round the back of the flat and I thought so there was a female jogger with her hair jogging in the wind, you know, long hair tied back in a band. She was running with her hair waggling and so I was already feeling miserable. Um, so she was jogging about and then there was this bloke holding a tennis ball on the field, bright green tennis ball. And I thought, right, he's bouncing that ball on the path. I'm not going on to the field this evening. And he's got this elderly dog. This old dog, and my mum's asked about my health condition, mine, and it's woof, 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 squeaky bark, woof, it's a really old dog, like, on its legs, and he's got this green tennis ball, and my mother's asked me how my health is. So I didn't go on the field. I was feeling shitty enough as it was. So I walked around the riverside. Then there was a woman in a green hooded coat. Bright green with dog with a dog like Charlie. That bloke that came up to me on the field. Um, really thin dog. Two of them she had. Two thin dogs with a green hooded coat and a hood over her head. And then I walked on and I walked on and there was a couple and the guy had a funny beanie hat on and the girl started giggling. So it was a couple, male and female, I live on my own and he's got this funny ridiculously small beanie hat on his head and it looks like it's coming off and she's giggling and they've got two dogs on long leads and I just stand back and I just let them walk on and then Max wants to, Ma Max just wants to walk a bit more so we go towards the crane, the blue crane and there's a guy imitating how I'm walking so I've got my black puffer jacket on right with the maroon and white markings and out, out of the out of the blue comes this guy and he's mimicking how I'm walking. He's mimicking the way I walk. And he's got a black puffer jacket on. And he's walking like me. And I had a couple walk past me and the younger guy looked like he was walking with his mother. I don't know if she was his mother. So the younger guy went, ugh, ugh, as I was walking by. And I just, I thought, I've just had enough of this. It's getting monotonous. It's getting boring. It's like Alice in Wonderland. But, you know, it's not funny. It's like the evil Alice in Wonderland. Everybody mimicking me and being nasty which drags you down and makes you feel miserable. 
even though you tried to not let it. Why are they taking the piss out of the way I walk, speak and what I'm wearing? Just ignore it. It's really difficult when you feel like shit. I didn't have the camera on me this evening. I thought, fuck it, I can't be bothered. It's pissing me off. You don't meet anybody. You don't do anything exciting. You're locked in this prison. And my mum's asking me, um, am I in good health trying to make out she's me? Or perhaps she thinks she's me. But she's the one with mobility problems with her legs. So I'm locked in this prison every day of my life. With no company. Which is highly exciting. But I don't mind it because I'd rather have no company than shitty fucking drug addicts and fucking drunks draining my finances and shitting on my floor which they do when they're pissed they piss and shit themselves because they can't make it to the toilet um so guys i've had a letter from my mum i've walked the dog and um, it's going to stay like this. I refuse to get cross. I refuse to break the law. And um, I'm just getting on with it. If they want to act like evil morons, then let them. I can't do anything about it. What can I do? There's something really underhand and suspicious going on. There's a massive cover-up. And why did my mum say I'm tired of covering up for Charles and Camilla? Someone needs to tell me the truth. Because the police, when they come out this week, we're going to see how they dress. I've had a police officer with a crooked front tooth, just like mine, a couple of years back. They just take the fucking piss. So you either tell me the truth, because I know it's hogwash, I know it's lies, and I know I'm being lied to, and I've probably been lied to for all my life. So just tell the truth for a change. And stop covering up things. Don't you think I'm adult enough to know what the fucking truth is? Tired of it. Absolutely 100% tired of this bullshit. Costs nothing to tell the truth, does it? Alexa, LBC Radio. LBC London from Global Player. And, and, and overreact. That, that's my point. Well, because in... You will know this better than anyone, having been a foreign office minister. Sometimes your heart tells you one thing and your head tells you another, and it's important most of the time to let your head rule your heart. Uh, and you can understand a desire for revenge, a, a strike back, but when you think of what the consequences of that might be, um, that is in many ways unthinkable. Right, we'll move on. We are going to talk about Iran and Israel after nine o'clock, so uh, do stay tuned for that. It's 8.32. Let's get the latest LBC News headlines with Daryl Jackson. The Prime Minister is calling on the Middle East to show restraint after Iran launched an attack on Israel at the weekend. Rishi Sunak says he's speaking to his Israeli counterpart to discuss how to prevent further escalation. The weapons supervisor on the set of the film Rust has been sentenced to 18 months in prison for the fatal shooting of a cinematographer during filming. Hannah Gutierrez Reed was convicted in March for the involuntary manslaughter of Helena Hutchins in October 2021. And Donald Trump says a hush money case against him should never have been brought as he becomes the first former US president to face a criminal trial. He's accused of falsifying business records to cover up a payment to porn star Stormy Daniels during his 2016 election campaign. LBC weather showers dying out across most of the country tonight, staying windy with a low of three degrees. This is LBC.
Hey Sainsbury's, got any simple midweek dinner ideas to add to my go-to's? Yeah, as it's spring, it's time to be a bit more adventurous. Have a bow. Thai green fish curry. It's a bit more exciting, but dead simple. And what's more, all our fish is caught responsibly. That's good to know. Yeah, there's nothing fishy about how we catch our fish. Looking for midweek dinner ideas? Ask Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's, good food for all of us. Subject to availability. For more information, visit sainsbury's.co.uk forward slash sustainable fish. My favourite coffee is a smooth coffee. How smooth? Seriously smooth. So smooth, it should be served in silk pyjamas. The Costa Flat White. Oh, VIP treatment in a little red cup. So even when my morning is anything but smooth, my coffee is so luxurious. I feel like I'm queen of the bus. From flat whites to Americanos, cappuccinos to lattes, you'll find your favourite coffee at Costa. Costa Coffee. Hi all. How are we doing? Afternoon. 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 Let's get this meeting. Meeting. Meeting started. Bye. Bye. So guys, I hope everyone has a great rest of day. Yeah. Um, things won't change unless, you see, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I obviously didn't know what was going on. I mean, you're a child, you do as you're told. Um, you don't realise it. And then when you leave school and re realise that your whole school life was wasted because of bullying and bullies, that, and... If I went back to school now, I'd take no notice of them or I'd take action. But you don't know that when you're a child. It ruins your life, being bullied constantly every fucking school day, which I was, right? When you're a child, you just accept things. You've got no choice. And if you've got bad parents, and they're mistreating you, You, what can you do about it? You're the child. You're relying on adults to, to stop it. And when no adult stops it, right, and the abuse continues, even though when you've s tried to get help and they still do it, then you know something's going on. But as a child, you, you cannot do anything about it. You go to an adult for help and they don't help you, then there's something wrong, isn't there? And there must have been. So that child grows up into a dysfunctional adult. An abused child grows up into a dysfunctional adult because they haven't been allowed to grow up properly. I learned not to trust adults. When you're abused, you don't trust adults. You, that trust is broken. It's not mental health illness. It's because you've been abused by adults, right? So you don't trust people when you grow up. Some people become drug addicts, alcoholics. They even go on to be offenders themselves because of this child abuse. But they just no one seems to fucking give a toss. I mean, the world as it is today, I mean, I went out the other night, people are doing what they fucking well like because there's no policing. You walk into a shop, there's no security. You could just bloody help yourself. What are we teaching our children? That drugs and alcoholism is okay. It's okay to walk into a shop and pinch. It's disgraceful. What has been done to me is diabolical, but there's nothing I can do about it. If I keep moping about it uh, and harping on it, it I'm, not, I'm not, you know, it's going to eat up at me every single day but when i try and have a, an outlet people take the fucking piss out of me and it stops me being happy and i don't fucking like it i'm not their toy i feel like i'm a fox being hunted 
by hunters. It's not funny what they're doing. It's not funny and it needs to stop. I need to be left alone for the rest of my pet life, to be left in peace and free from this lying shit I'm living in. I'm not a baby. And it's not a nice world. It's not a safe world. I'm being victimised. I'm being bullied. I'm being sexually assaulted. It's not a nice world. I'm nobody's property but my own. As a child, I was used and abused and that was disgusting when nobody did anything about it. And now I'm an adult. Do you think I want to be abused and assaulted every day of my life through dirty perverts? I can't have a job. I can't go on a training course. I go into a shop or I walk down the street. It's horrible. Absolutely disgusting. And to label someone mad so they can get away with abusing someone. File. See you later.